and welcome back to the Paul Dolan Details channel. Right, this week I welcome back my dad's car. My dad turns 80 this year. We've got two birthdays this year. I turn 50, he turns 80. Scary where the time goes, eh? Now the last time I did something on his car, we put blend on it from Vonix. That's a seven month wax, seven months longevity. Longevity, get me words out. Really nice wax to use. Unfortunately, it rained on the day, so the video was kind of cut short. I'll put the video up here, you can go and check it out. Fingers crossed it doesn't rain this week. So we used that last time. This week, we're gonna be using another wax. This is the SGCB UK D1 Coating Wax. Now, this is a blend of Carnuba and silicon, and it's probably one of the biggest pots of wax I've ever seen. 250 gram pot of wax and check out the price i'm not going to tell you too much about the price till right at the end but that is one of the biggest pots of wax i've ever seen and it's really well presented nice big metal tin we're going to be using that uh, we've got this puck style applicator with a velcro removable pad we've also got some other bits and pieces as well we've got the ik pro 2 foamer we're going to be using hd car care products this week we've got a few of their products you might have seen some of them in other videos i've only just started introducing them because they sent down quite a bit of stuff we've got their snow foam we've got their wheel cleaner spoiler alert and their tiring glue their lemon sherbet uh, shampoo and their quick detailer down here and we've also got some gary therapy tire serum stick around you're gonna love this one it's a special treat for me dad i hope he's watching anyway happy birthday to my dad so without further ado get a very very nice whiskey single malt and don't get anything else apart from a glass and roll the video so here we go then introducing my dad's car the Seat attacker fr edition in metallic red yeah believe it or not this car's metallic it's hard to tell on this really lovely sunny day hmm a bit chilly out there and it's had the sahara rain well that's what we call it dumped all over it so you get this horrible gritty sandy residue all over your car and believe it or not, those wheels are dirty. They are filthy. You want to see the crud that comes out from the uh, the wheel woolies. So it's not minging as in mud. It's more of a layer of grime. But we're going to get this refreshed and we're going to get some decent wax on it. Some LSP, some last stage protection as it's known in the game. Those tyres are pretty dull, aren't they? Dull and grey. Right, direct hoses, all black nine. If you haven't seen the video, check out the link above. Highly portable machine. I have to stress, it is a domestic machine. It is not used for professional use. What do I mean by that? I mean if you're a valitor or a detailer. Even though it's sold as a detailer's pack, it's not really for every day, throwing the back of the transit, go and wash 10 cars. Have a look at the gray series for that. We're still waiting on the direct hoses for the uh, second review. I shall give them a nudge and see what's going on. But check the video out on this machine. You've got the white nozzle in the end. You get the coupler attachment in that short trigger assembly. And you're gonna be hitting the arches and the tire with an all-purpose cleaner. Valet Pro this week for choice. Eight to one dilution ratio. And the Easy Go Bog Brush. Yes, the one that looks exactly the same as a bog brush, only without all the toilet paper and the uh, unmentionables in it. Give them a really good scrub. And if you have to hit them twice, hit them twice. Obviously speed it up for your enjoyment. And flush the brush out after every use. Tough shine tire scrubbing brush now. Give the tires a good squab. Wheel cleaner next from HD Car Care. So you can dilute this, it's non-acidic. We have it in the IK Foma 2 Pro 2. Produces a lovely thick cleaning power foam to dunk your wheel woolies in. Now the problem with these wheels is the fact they've got the smaller holes and please don't do it. oh for god's sake and the, the other hole the, the, no wrong 
entirely wrong. If you haven't seen this before, it's a Scandinavian wheel technique. It's filling two holes with two big things on the end of shafts. Horrendous. Speed it up and just get rid of it because we don't want to see it. Rude. Thank you. Right, wax on the way now. This is the chemical resistant size 18, rather glossy brush, detail brush. Now you see this on YouTube videos, people with detailing brushes and they do all this. What they don't show you is the brush after when they've lost half of it. Really important that these are chemical resistant because it will just dissolve the bristles or at worst, they just molt. So it's nice and soft, nice and kind to the wheel, but it's also doing a good job by removing any grime that's left after the foam has done, it, done its thing. Onto the rear of the vehicle now. Look at the crap that gets flushed out from those arches. These are these dreadful carpet liners. They're horrible things. You just have to keep flushing them out, agitate with a brush and just keep flushing and flushing and flushing until you get them clean. Dreadful design. So there's the wheel cleaner. That's without any agitation. That's on the rear wheel. You can see it breaking down the grime. Snow foam next. So a hundred mil in the MJJ Sea Lance with 900 mil of cold water. Were you a man or a mouse? Bloody freezing out there. And having just having the vaccination, the old jab, hooray. I felt like doggy doo doo the day before. I didn't feel very well at all. But get out there in the fresh air, you'll be fine. And nobody noticed that flap that I've just missed. Don't, don't point that out in the comment section. I'd be very, very angry. What an idiot. So it's pretty thick, this stuff. It's really clingy. If you dial this back with the water, be prepared for the Gillette because it's super, super fun. Don't do this on a windy day. Please don't do that on a windy day. I did that a few weeks ago. Big mistake. Turn a Metro into a marshmallow. I wouldn't have minded, but I was cleaning the Skoda. So coat the vehicle and give this around about 10 minutes. Enough time to have a hot cross bun with some blackcurrant jam and drink your coffee. Thanks, Mum. When it comes to the flap areas, fuel filler flap areas, these always end up with grit and grime in them. Make sure you clean them out. Once again, using the wax and the whey brush. The reason you're using the all-purpose cleaner is just to give it a bit of a boost, a boosting cleaning power. You can do your window rubbers as well, and you can do your grill areas. Ah, the dreaded black grill. Some of this grill, you can actually put the brush through and some of it is solid. So they're sort of blanked off areas. And they've done the same with the top and the bottom. Very, very annoying. So while you're doing this, the rest of the car is still dwelling. It's softening all the crud that's on the paintwork, the clear coat, if you want to be technical. And then you can just concentrate on these areas. So with the uh, All Black 9 series, you get the lance as well. So you don't want to bend down too much, do you? I'm just under six foot five, if you're wondering uh, the relation between the height and the car of the car and me, should I say. People often ask, how tall are you? I've just told you. In flip-flops, a little bit less. Fascinating fact, when I used to live with my mum and dad, I used to wheelie from the bottom of the road to the top on my rally grifter. Yes, I am that kid, the 80s kid, with me long hair.
So already after the rinse down stage, she's looking a lot better. Passes by thinking, film crew? I didn't know the BBC were down here. They're actually filming on Mersey at the moment, a Hollywood film, and I have not been asked once for my autograph. Very disappointing. So shampoo stays next, lemon sherbet. You're probably looking at this thinking, that just looks like cat wee. Well, it does in the, in the actual lance, it looks exactly like cat wee, if you want to collect cat wee. But uh, it doesn't smell like cat wee, I can assure you. Stop with the cat wee. It smells of lemon sherbet. Now, there is a real good glug of it in there. It's not gonna be the foamiest, because obviously you've diluted it down in the lance. Bring it back again with the water. And that's the suds I was left with in the bucket after I injected it with the lance. So on the panel, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. And the reason for laying down that thick layer of suds on the car, or thin layer in this case, is to boost the lubes. It makes it glide over the panels so much easier. Makes it for a really nice wash experience. A lot of guys in the US do this. They've been doing it for some years. They'll use their car soap, as they call it, in their lances. They'll do a quick rinse down and they'll just chuck shampoo on the car. Another rinse down. As you can see, there is pretty much zero protection. I'll go one further. There's sod all protection on that car. That is as flat as a billiard table. Two reasons for me speeding this up. The first one is so you don't have to look at my crack for the next two minutes. And the other reason is just to speed it up because nobody wants to watch a bloke rinsing a car down for hours on end. Tar and glue remover next. It's quite hard for the camera to pick this up. There is some tar on the doors and that lower trim, there is some on there as well. Although it's very difficult for the camera to pick it up. So soak this. This is seconds, I believe you me, it's very, very quick. It's very fast acting stuff, this. And then just take a not so desirable microfiber, but a half decent one. You don't want to wreck your best ones. Remember this is a solvent, it'll just destroy them eventually. And remove, remove the residue. Makes a massive difference getting rid of tile spots. There you go. Horrible. You don't want to be dragging those around the car when you're waxing it. So get rid of them. Now I've been asked this in the comments section before, what do you do after? Do you go straight into the next stage? No, you don't, you rinse down. Just because I don't show things in videos doesn't mean to say they don't get done. So rinse it down after you've done it. Then dry it, then we get into the next stage, which of course is the waxing stage. D1 coating wax. Lovely presentation, if you're in America. Presentation, if you're in the uh, UK. Nice box. You get a cleaning cloth, we're not actually gonna use, use that, or buffing off cloth. They've put a cheese knife in there, or fish knife. Now the reason for that, believe it or not, is to get the wax out of the pot, the last bits. I personally can't see you ever using it, but there you go. You can always use it as Christmas time. It's got a plastic lid on that, we'll just get rid of that. Buttery to the touch. There's two applicators. You have to get this separately, I believe. This is the Puck Star one with a removable sponge. It is incredibly buttery. It goes a very, very long way. I was quite shocked. So in the first application, i.e. the first twist of it in the pot, I did the entire bonnet. I was really, really surprised. Now it's quite difficult sometimes for the camera to pick this up. You can see the hazing of the actual product. Uh, as soon as you get a very, very shiny car, my camera just doesn't want to know for some unknown reason. It's very difficult to focus sometimes. It is a joy to apply. 
We'll come to the, uh, the buffing off section in a bit. Give this five to 10 minutes per panel, or you can do the entire car. Now, obviously don't do this in the sun. You're all right. If you're in Britain, you've got no worries. Yes, and you can do the lights as well. So it is quite oily. And as I said, very, very buttery. Now when it comes to things like the door handles and around the mirrors, you're gonna to wanna to use the applicator which is provided in the kit because clearly you're gonna come up a few issues with the puck. You ain't gonna get in there, are you? Circular motions, straight line, is entirely up to you. So after that's been allowed to cure, it's now the buff off. And this is the bit which is exciting because you get to see all your hard work. Look at that for gloss. put a link to their website and that's where you can get those cloths as well. And no, I am not pregnant. I am not carrying a child. I've just got several microfibers stuffed in my hoodie. And that is not a beer gut. I end up carrying two or three. One of them is for the camera to keep the lens clean. And the other one is just for the car, like this bit. Put one on the panel so you haven't got your fingers all over the panel, and the other one just use it to buff. Yes, I am wearing the turtle wax cap. My dad said, oh, use a different cap for doing waxing in there. I said, yeah, this is my serious cap. So then we move on to the wheels again. Now, of course you can top the panel with the uh, hybrid quick detailer, but we are choosing this week to use it on the wheels because we've already got a wax on the car. There won't be much point. So just to finish the wheels off, give them some sort of protection. Any bits you might have missed, you can take them off with this. Flashes off really, really quick and just gives a nice finish. Matte and gloss, these wheels. Garage Therapies One Tire Serum. This will stop dirt penetrating the tires. It is not a dressing, you'll have to stress. Although it looks like a dressing, it's not. It's the tire conditioner. I've been using this for a number of weeks now on my car, and it's great. You can go out in all weathers, come back, and your tires are still dark. Layer it if you want, put two layers on. And that is pretty much it, ladies and gents, this week. Now you can sit back, have a drink, and watch all the floaty stuff.
you're all going to be sitting there thinking, I don't like whiskey. I'm not going to drink whiskey, Paul. Drink something else. It doesn't have to be alcohol. I don't want to be responsible for alcoholism and obesity across the world. It's just a way of un un just uh, unwinding, relaxing. Okay, let's talk about the product. So the first thing we have is HD wheel cleaner. You can dilute this down to 20 to 1, 10 to 1, 8 to 1, 1 to 1 if they're really bad, if the soiling's really heavy. Uh, I chose to use it in the Pro Foma 2. The IK foam, I have to say, this is a lot better than the old one. The old one is pretty pants compared with this one. It's just light and day. I think I've got the orange filter in this one underneath because the filter's in the actual pickup pipe and several pumps, and you can get a decent amount of foam. You might have to re-pump depending on the severity of the filth on the wheel and how big the wheel is and the area you're foaming up. But with the wheel cleaner, the wheel cleaner seems to really break down. And the reason for using the foamer, it creates a nice lot of lube for one of these. Yes, this uh, rather fine looking bush with a shaft shoved up the end. Uh, this uh, wheel woolly, these are fantastic on glossy black wheels. Now these wheels are part matte, part gloss, believe it or not, and they're the most fiddly wheels I've ever come across. The design, I'm sorry sir, is awful. To get behind them spokes, it's ugh. Dreadful. The best way of cleaning those wheels is to take the damn things off. But we got over it with a, a few little bits and pieces. We've got a lovely detailing brush we've been using this week. And they're nice and clean. So it works. So in the video, you saw a red brush. This is from Wax and Away. It's a chemical resistant size 18 brush. Nice red glossy finish. And when I first got it, I thought, is that all going to be all show and no go? But it didn't molt one hair. And that is... <laughs> That's quite a, a tall order for chemical resistant brushes. Even though they say they're chemical resistant, they still molt. And this doesn't. It looks nice on your shelf as well, hang, or hanging on your rack. A lot more coming from Wax and Away. So thanks to James. We've got some of these products sat behind me. So they're all going to be coming up for review pretty soon. So thanks for that. Uh, when it comes to the pre-wash, now they do several pre-washes in the range. Uh, HD Car Care, as I pick up the wrong bottle. Snow Foam. Now I've got the Lime pre-wash sat behind me. Uh, this is really good stuff. It's super thick and it cleans. Now, you know, look at that car and think, well, you probably could have got away with just jetting it down. Uh, no, because it's, we've had that horrible Sahara rain which dumps a lot of sand and grit all over the car. So I wanted to make sure that was gonna get broken down sufficiently before we did the two bucket wash. 100 mil in your lance, adjust your water ratios. If you wanna come down a bit, I had 900 mil in mine, Come down to 800, it'll be like Gillette. It'll be like shaving foam. This stuff is super thick and it works. Nice and nice and clean, ready for your two bucket wash, which brings me to this. Now, this bodywork shampoo, the lemon sherbet, I've used this before, and if you're wondering why there's not much left, it's because I squirted most of it in my, in my lance. Now, the whole reason for doing this is to lay down that lovely layer of lube over the car before you've even touched it. I've been doing this off camera for a while. I know they do it in, in, over in the States. They do it a lot. They, they do a pre-wash and then they put the foam in the bucket or your shampoo in the bucket and on the car. And as you've seen, it does actually work and it makes for a nice wash experience. It's not the most, it's not the strongest shampoo in the world, to be honest with you. You have got to use quite a bit. The ratios are on here. I think it's something like, uh, yeah, 40 mil per 10 litres of water, which isn't great. But there is an, enough lube there. It's a sort of everyday shampoo. It's not the strongest in the world, but there you go. Uh, tar and glue remover. Well, it does what it says on the bottle. We have some tar spots on the set. Preload your cloth and then spray the panel. Wipe it off. Let, let it dwell for a little, a little while. I mean, it didn't actually take that long. It was pretty instantaneous, to be honest with you. It started bleeding. Uh, there's a trim down the bottom on the car and it was just peppered with tar spots and it ruins the look of the car. And if you're going to do any waxing or anything like that, it's just going to drag it all over the car. So get rid of it. Make sure you rinse the car down after. Stinks to high heaven. It's a solvent. What do you expect? But it works. On the black trims and on the wheels. Now I've used this off camera as well. Uh, this is the hybrid quick detailer. Reduces a nice gloss. It's handy for just topping up protection levels. Flashes off at a decent rate. Just buff it off and you're left with a nice glossy finish. Quite good to use on the wheels. It's nice and quick. So it does what it says. It's, you know, it produces a, some decent water behavior. I had this on the Metro a little while ago and it beaded up crazy. Not too sure on the longevity of that. It's probably uh, maybe a month or so, or could be even weeks. Not too sure, but nice to use. Got a pleasant fragrant smell. Easy peasy. 
uh, when it comes to the Gary Serapis Tire Serum, been using this uh, for a number of weeks. Now there are some reviews on this. I don't know if I'm gonna do a review on this because I can pretty much tell you about it now. It is a tire conditioner. It's not a dressing. It stops the crap oozing out of your tire, but most importantly, it protects the sidewalls. It protects your tires from dirt. Now it's not the glossiest thing you're ever gonna see. It looks kind of glossy on camera, but it does die down quite a bit. You can put two coats on, allow it to cure. What I've found, I've been using this on my Skoda, running my Skoda up and down the uh, Essex roads on the evening of rain. It's still there, the tires are dark. When I looked at my dad's tires and looked at mine, I haven't done mine for a week or so, and mine was still jet black. So it is really good stuff. Couple of coats of that, it stops all the crap going on your tires. It is a conditioner, not a dressing. Great stuff from Gary Therapy. Right, come down to the main event. Now, we've got, first of all, the uh, puck style applicator and these Velcro style um, sponges. You can take these off and throw them in a washing machine. Great bits of uh, kit. Now, you have got another one here, just your standard one. You're gonna need that because when it comes around to doing like under the mirrors and the door handles, you ain't gonna get that in. This is speed, this is brilliant. And if you do suffer from um, problems with your fingers, you've got say arthritis, or you've suffered with your joints, or you know, a cold day, it's a bit uncomfortable, then this is great. It works really, really well. Put it on there properly, Paul, you idiot. And you can wash it and use it again. When it comes to the wax, less is more, less is more. I loaded this up, just went like that, in the tin, and did the whole bonnet. There wasn't any need to, to, to load it up again. It's very, very buttery. It's, when you touch it, and the wax, um, yeah, it is pretty, pretty soft. There's not much of a, a fragrance to it, but a little goes a very, very long way. Now, I, I did the entire car, which gave it enough time to cure. Five to 10 minutes if you're gonna do it on a panel, and that was enough you know, and it just did the buff off and there was zero effort getting it off. What I will say is there is a very, very slight amount of dust that comes from this when it dries out. It's, it's minimal, it's really small. I noticed it on the windscreen when I was going backwards and forwards, buffing it off, tiny bit of residue. Apart from that, great. Now, longevity wise, on a unprepared car, i.e. a car that's not been uh, machine polished, you know, clay decontaminated, uh, and, and don't start with, why didn't you decontaminate it? Lack of time. And it, to be honest with you, it's garage, this car. Felt the panels, they were fine. So, three months on a car that's not really been decontaminated for the average weekend warrior, car that's been decontaminated, machine polished, six months. They're the longevity um, claims. Now, we're gonna talk about price. All the other prices and the links to these products are underneath the video as ever and the new Into Detailing links. I now have an affiliate with Into Detailing thanks to Imran. Accessories and things like that you can get underneath and that goes towards supporting the channel. Get that one in there quick. Right, the price of this wax at the moment is under 20 quid, which is just insane. It's balmy. Um, you are not gonna get through this that quick, are you? 250 mil of wax. I mean, look at the size of it. It's huge. You get a cloth of this as well in the, in the actual uh, box. You get a lovely little box, presentation box, as you've seen. And um, yeah, brilliant. So that is this week's video. Thanks to everyone that's sent their products down. Thanks to HD Car Care. Thanks to Caton uh, from the uh, SGCB UK guys uh, and there's a lot more coming from those guys as well there is a lot more videos coming like I say this all the time but it's just lack of time I'm working six seven days nights a week at the moment trying to fit the videos in so thanks for staying and thanks for watching click all the links down below look after yourselves happy birthday dad and uh, see you on the next one